So let's talk about up to date. So up to date is a clinical information or decision decision making support tool. It's designed for when clinicians are working with patients and don't really have time to search PubMed or CINAHL and browse through other results. So up to date is written by people with clinical expertise. They rank recommendations, they cite their sources so that things could be more easily accessible in the clinical setting. So it currently has over 10,500 clinical topics. And a great way to use this outside the clinic is you can get basic information, um, answer these basic dis questions about diseases and disorders and treatments. You're also able to follow the citations to the primary research. So that's one way you can use up to date as well. So you can access up to date from our discovery service um, webpage. It's going to be over here on the left under point of care and you have a link right there to up to date. So let's go on over there and give that a click. So up to date's taking me to this homepage. We like these nice rectangular boxes with those little flashing cursors. So you're able to search for up to date. And if we're going to ask this question about music therapy being used um, during cancer treatment, we can just type in simply cancer music. You see how as I'm typing things, it will make recommendations for me. Up to date is pretty smart like that. So what I'm looking at now are the results of my search. And these are different topics that have been written by these people with subject expertise. And I can click on any of them to look at that topic entry. And so this first one looks pretty relevant. Um, it's nice to also point out that I do have these filters at the top. So for my CHLA searches, you might find that pediatric filter pretty helpful. So if I click on here, I'm now looking at the entry and all the information that's provided. So as much as these are quick summaries for clinical use, you can see how they can get pretty long. So you might find the table of contents here on the left pretty easy to help you kind of sort through and take a look at what the content is. Um, some information I do want to highlight though is you are able to see who wrote these entries, who were the editors. You can get their disclosures by following this link. Um, and you're also able to see when this literature was last reviewed and since how up to date is it? This was last updated in December of last year. So like I said, you can look over here to the table of contents. There's also a pretty nice find feature that I like to use. So if I type in music and hit find, it'll then search the entry. You even have a synonym search. And for topics that this could be helpful on, let's say I type in the word etiology, it would also find the word cause. If I typed in acetaminophen, if Tylenol was used, it would find that term. So that can be a pretty helpful tool. So I see that music is being mentioned here. It's being considered these complementary and alternative medicines. Um, maybe I wanna look over here for creative arts therapy and see that as they're making these recommendations, there are numbers and if you click those, it takes you to the titles and abstracts for those studies that they're citing. So you can see how this is pretty helpful way to look again at these peer-reviewed articles that you might find helpful on a topic that you're researching. So that's ways that you can use up to date. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to contact me, Lynn Kish, clinical and research librarian here at CHLA. I'm happy to show you how to use up to date as well as any of our other library resources.